Hi guys, welcome back to Heather's East Kitchen. So thank you guys for tuning in today and watching. On today's video, it's not an organic meal, but this meal is really, really easy to make. It's kid friendly and it's super delicious and easy. It's just a really simple comfort meal. And it is by request of my husband. So I thought I'd get on here and show you guys how to make it. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay, guys, so here it is. This is what we are making. This is the ingredients. I'm going to break it down to show y'all. This is all you need to make this meal. We are making some chili cheese tater tots in the oven. So we're going to just use this little small Pyrex pan because since my husband's going to be eating this, I need a big pan. So we got a small Pyrex pan. We got some Hormel chili. This is the brand that he likes. No beans. You can use turkey chili or a different kind of beans all together as far as, um, not beans, but a different type of chili in the can. Or you can make your own, which will really make it taste good. But this is something quick. I just wanted to show y'all. If you want to keep it simple, this is what you get. We got some golden tater tots and we have some cheese. This is a blend cheese mix right here that we're going to put on top. You can get any type of cheese you want, shred it thick, shred it yourself, whatever, but I'm just showing y'all what I'm using for this meal tonight, and if you guys want to try and get the exact same items that I purchased, please feel free to do so. If not, you can alter it to what your family likes, but these are the ingredients for the meal, so you can alter the chili, the tater tots, as well as the cheese if you like. All right, guys, let's get into this video. All right, guys, so let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is actually cook the tater tots. We're going to put them in the oven. Currently, my oven is set to 350. We're gonna bake the tater tots first to get them a little crunch. And then we will go to the next step afterwards. You can use an air fryer as well to cook your tater tots, or you can also put them in the deep fryer. But the healthier way to do is either air fry or bake in the oven. I'm gonna put the tater tots in here. I'm gonna make a nice layer on the bottom of the pan. Fill it up. pan completely on the bottom so there's no spaces or anything so just fill it up as much as possible and again if you have more that you need to make for a family just alter the ingredients of how much I'm using today all right so we're going to go ahead and put those in the oven and I'll be back when those are done to get to our next step all right, welcome back guys. So since the tater tots are almost about done, what I like to do, since the chili, when you open it up, it's kind of solid. What I like to do is put it in the pot and we're gonna heat it up a little bit before we put it all together. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of water in there just to give it a little bit of, um, you know, to loosen it up some. Not a lot, guys. Maybe I'm going to pour some in this can here. I don't measure. But I would say, you know, that's that little bit right there. I'm going to say maybe about three to four tablespoons. That's the first can. Now we're going to go ahead and put that second one in there. Second. I'm right handed. Let me turn that around. It is gonna heat up more in the oven, but just for consistency, I just wanna heat it up just a little bit. I'm gonna say about five minutes. All right, I'll be back once that's heated up and we're gonna pull the tater tots out and show you how to put it all together. All right, everybody, I am back. So here is the tater tots, they are done. They're crispy, very nice crispiness here. And now we're gonna go ahead and put everything together. All right, so now that we got our chili a little bit warm, we're gonna go ahead and pour this over the tater tots. I'm gonna make sure 
make a nice little layer. Sorry, I'm not letting y'all away. But yes, you're gonna just make a nice little layer right on top. Okay, so now that you got the chili on there, now it's time to layer up that cheese. So you're gonna make it just like if you was making lasagna, if you've ever made lasagna. But if not, you're just gonna put a nice thick layer of cheese on top and spread it out. second bag and put half of that bag on there as well because the cheese is going to melt and be all up in there and you want it cheesy. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and throw this in the oven <clears throat> for about I'm gonna say if you want an estimation of the time, I'm gonna say about 15 minutes or at least until your cheese is melted and um, lightly brown, you know, like mac and cheese type of brown on top. And then, you know, it's done. So we're gonna go ahead and put this bad boy in the oven and I'll be back to show y'all the finished product. Welcome back everybody. So the product is finished. This is what it's gonna look like when it's done. I just took it out the oven. It was bubbling for a few minutes, but, um, the whole process, if you're cooking it in the oven like I did, it's going to take about 45 minutes to an hour. I had my oven set on 350. If you want them to cook a lot faster, I don't never really cut my oven on past 350. I don't know. Don't judge me. But anyhow, if you want the tater tots to cook faster, because that's the longest part of this process, you just want to raise the temperature on your oven so they can cook faster. But this is the finished product. You do want to let it cool for about 30 minutes before you start cutting into it. But I hope you guys really enjoy this recipe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to share the video with your friends and family and subscribe. For those who, those of you who aren't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Have you here as a part of the H Squad team. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.